how to set up the remainder of your ROI tracking with the selection, you handle everything for me. Once your basic settings have been configured, you can go on to completing your ROI tracking setup. First, let's look at the optional parameter name. This parameter will be appended to your landing URL. It can be any variable name of your choosing. If you have a specific name that needs to be placed, such as one assigned by an affiliate, you should enter it here. Otherwise, you can leave it to the default. Once your optional parameter is set and you have selected You Handle Everything For Me, you can click Generate Code. After clicking Generate Code, you should see two pieces of code generate below as well as a form for your campaign and landing URL. The two pieces of code are meant to be inserted into the source code of your conversion page and landing page respectively. Here, I have two sample pages for a landing page and a conversion page. I also have a text editor to edit the source code for each page. First, I will copy the first piece of code. Then, in my text editor for the conversion page, I will paste the code into the body. Next, I will copy the second piece of code. Again, in my text editor, before the landing page this time, I will paste the code into the body. When you have finished inserting your code and saving it, return to your admin area. Your last step is to make sure a valid landing URL is inserted. Using the optional parameter that you had set earlier, you need to append it to your current landing URL. This is my landing URL right now, and as you can see, there is a red X indicating that it is not properly formed. As the instructions above show, you need to append it with your optional parameter and have it equal, in square brackets, CLUID. I will add it over here. After editing it, click Update. If your URL is formed correctly, you should see the red X become a green check mark. If you see the green check mark, you have successfully finished setting up your ROI tracking where you allow Clickster to handle all variable passing for you. You have the option to test a conversion by clicking Test. After you visit your page and complete a conversion, you should see it appear in your admin area reports soon after. This completes this video tutorial and your setup for ROI tracking. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact your account manager. Thank you for watching this video.